Now, those angling for positions of chief administrative secretary will be forced to wait a little longer as National Assembly shelved the National Government Administrative Amendment Bill that sought to legalize the positions and entrench the offices in law. The deferral of the bill was requested by Majority Leader in the National Assembly, Kimani Ishungwa, for what was termed as to allow wider consultations. Give us on Maina now puts this into perspective. The Thursday, 21st March communication in the National Assembly that the National Government Administrative Amendment Bill had been shelved to a later date now appears to throw Spanner into the works in as far as the position of Chief Administrative Secretary is concerned. The next on the order paper was to be the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill National Assembly number 73 of 2023 by the Leader of Majority. Again, the Leader of Majority has requested the Speaker to step it down and it has been assented to. The bill sought to legalize the cabinet positions and entrench them into law following a court ruling that had termed them unconstitutional. The communication during a committee of the whole house revealed that majority leader in the National Assembly, Kimani Shungwa, had written to the speaker requesting that the bill be stepped down, reportedly for wider consultation. This was just a day after Speaker Moses Wetangula okayed the bill for debate. The National Government Amendments Administrative Administration Laws Amendment Bill 2023 is properly before the House. Previous day, the minority side led by OP Wandai had argued the bill contained proposals that were found unconstitutional by the courts. We are being invited in broad daylight to establish an office through an act of parliament. The executive office consists of the, the president, the deputy president, and the cabinet secretary. And then the accounting officer becomes their permanent or principal secretary. The question all of us are begging to ask, where does the chief administrative secretary fall in the architecture of their executive? If you go to Article 132.4a of the Constitution, on the function of the president, except as otherwise provided for in this Constitution, may establish an office in the public service in accordance with the recommendations of the Public Service Commission. This followed an amendment by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee to remove the limit on the number of chief administrative secretaries who can be appointed in office. Last year, appointees of the position were forced to stand down following a court ruling that found parts of the bill had contravened the Constitution. Give us minor prime edition.